snowed some more this morning, probably four inches. <laughs> so Jackson and I were out in front shoveling away. I had two shovels at the same time. But look at this, it's <laughs> like I park way over there and I normally just cross the, the grass, but I had to go all the way over there where that truck just pulled because there was no place to walk. But some kid just walked down the sidewalk and right on the other side of that fence, it's not plowed. So the kids either walk in the street or walk in two plus feet of snow to get to school. But when I've got to cross this way, look at this. This is crazy. Look at all this grossness. It's going to be slippery. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I am subbing at a different school today. <laughs> look how much snow this. I mean, it feels, it's, all, it's past my knee. It is past my knee. So with this school, I drive up and I just like park right here on the sidewalk or park right here on the side of the road and jump out and turn this light on. But this was not cleared when I did that. Look how cool that is. And it went above my knee because it was snow from the road and some from the sidewalk. And look at that, that's where I had to step. <laughs> it's crazy. Turn the lights off. I'm done cross-guarding <laughs> on days like this I don't think I get paid enough right <laughs> now I love being a crossing guard it's fun 30 bucks an hour to say hi and good morning and have a great day to kids I love it it is mighty cold though I've got a shirt a long sleeve like tight pullover then a fleece zip up then my jacket and then my cross guarding vest and then I've got pants on and snow boots my feet are freezing my face is kind of freezing too <laughs> so let's go home and get warm all right it's the afternoon cross and look how gorgeous it is out here this is what I love after it snows but this is what I want to show you with this sign it's so funny can you see the sign for evergreen open for business because <laughs> yesterday we were closed. I saw that this morning. I forgot to take a picture. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> it also says today is a day, but open for business. I love it. another busy night the two littles have or had swimming lessons but look I'm out here grilling but you can't really see it as well it's so beautiful the sunset and then after swimming Brigham was done with play practice and then we race home I start dinner I gotta go pick up 
Tyler from work at six, take him to lacrosse practice, which he'll be late, come back here, serve dinner, go back and pick him and friends up at seven, come back home, make sure to put the littles to bed, then go to basketball at eight for Jackson, Tyler, and Gavin. Oh, but look at this, blank steak. Oh my gosh, this has been marinating since last night. It's, <coughs> oh, I got a big whiff of that. <coughs> oh man, it's been marinating since last night. The marinade, is so delicious. It's from my Aunt Marjean. Probably other people know it. It's not like a secret, but I got it from her and I love it. So I'm trying to see if how you can see this. There, that's a little bit better. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I turned it around. Look how gorge. That's the one thing I love about our property. Our deck is so much higher and we always get a beautiful sunset. Love it. <laughs> Good job, Joe. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Nice, Tyler! Come on, Jackson. Don't oh, go all the way, Jackson. Go all the way. He said the S word. Did you hear those guys? <laughs> Does your bishop know about this? <laughs> oh! Woohoo! Oh! Let's go, Jackson! Three of my boys are in at the same time. Mm -hmm. Never happens. Bounce pass! Come on, Ty! Oh, good pass! So Nathan lost a tooth a couple days ago, and this darn tooth fairy has forgotten two nights now. Now, in her defense, we did have a big storm, so. Today, he brings up the tooth and says, Mom, she didn't come again. I go, well, it did snow like four more inches. Maybe it's just, you know, weather problems she's having. <laughs> and so he said, let me just give you the tooth. You give me a dollar so you can put the tooth under your pillow. She probably will be able to find your room a little bit easier. So I said, good idea. So <laughs> I come upstairs and he brought, he has this on my counter, Nathan's tooth. Don't touch, please. Tooth Fairy, yay. One dollar. <laughs> so I'm going to put this under my pillow. And fingers crossed that the Tooth Fairy comes tonight and he gets his dollar. <laughs>